to the web i'm your girl nimo wakene and this is the celeb shenanigans yes so welcome today we are talking about a few celebrities in africa because this is where you get all your african gossip okay this is where we come so we're going to begin with the fact that masterpiece has decided to go the drag queen way he was on instagram all dressed up like a girl all made up looking beautiful and whatever and people had a lot to say so after he posted that video a lot of people came out and they had a lot to say some of the some people saw it as a joke others really took it so seriously because he's a gospel artist and people were like oh you can't dress up like a like a gay person or a drag queen or you know homosexuality kind of praising on instagram but it's for a video so Ringtone had something to say also. Kwanza kupewa kwa sahani. Tunauzua ushoga Kenya na mkaanza kusema wewe Ringtone yako na wivu. Mimi sina wivu. Niliwaambia bahati amevaa high heels, mlimwona amevaa mini dress, eh amevaa bra, amevaa makeup. Eh hey, ya wanawake na yeye ni mwanaume bwana. Na mnikajaribu kumkemea wengine akaanza kusema ni wivu, lakini wengine wali, watu wa Mungu wanakubaliana na mimi. In the video, he also called out Bahati, who is also a gospel musician, a lot of drama in the gospel um, industry. And this is what the video, this is the video that Bahati posted that made Rington feel like, you know what, this is it, I'm done, I have to say something. The question of the day is, is it okay for a male gospel artist to dress up as a woman for content creating? Make sure to drop your comment and tell us what you think. Next, you're going to talk about the bunch, the cocoa master the african michael jack hit maker of the song oliver twist so apparently he's been accused of raping somebody okay allegedly okay we're not saying he did it because it has not been proved yet so he is being accused of raping a girl called Seditan babatayo Babatayo is claiming that Debanj in the year of 2018 crept into her room and uh, raped her, okay? And after raping her, the Coco Master decided to give her a hundred thousand nairas to take herself to the hospital so that she can go um see a doctor so the question is why after all after two years that is one and secondly i mean why now i don't get it but apparently she's saying she was scared of speaking up because the coco master is somebody that is known by everybody da, 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 da. the coco master is saying that this girl is lying these are lies from the devil sent straight from hell but this is where the whole story um turns um last week the coco master apparently gave um nigerian policemen money two of them and they went and arrested a babatayo and took her to jail for 48 hours they took her mm. phone and then they deleted every single information because she had receipts like she had she had a conversation that she told somebody that she had been raped um um a conversation showing that she was given money so all that was taken away from her but it's allegedly coco master is saying she's um he had nothing to do with it okay so and coco master now is asking her to pay him a hundred million naira i don't know where she's going to get all that money but baby if it does not come out that he raped because there's no proof actually when you think about it like there's nothing to prove that he really raped her so the bunch is asking for a hundred million a naira for defamation of character if it is proven that he did not rape this woman so we're going to wait because um the case is still under investigations and new things are coming up every single day so we're going to chill and see what is going to happen so next we're going to talk about vanessa md or md last week she decided to tell us on her podcast deep dive announced that she's done with the music industry and she's quitting and the reasons as to why she was quitting is because the music industry really got her in a very dark space and a very dark um time of her life and she used to drink herself to sleep apparently and she was going through depression and she said that the music industry is demonic according to her we don't know how but she did not really go deep deep dive dive deep into that story but then this week she decided to come back and tell us you know what i'm not quitting the music industry because her fans were really coming at her and we're like no you, you want to tell us we will never see you perform we will never see you do your music again and she said she's going to be performing she's going to be making music but she's not going to indulge in anything that has to do with the music industry behind the scenes 
yeah thank you guys for watching this video Yo, make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment what's up guys welcome to the web the no what's up everybody welcome to the web your favorite what's up everybody what's up everybody girl i just did all that and then i'm gonna forget Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Namaste.